Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock State here. Back with another unboxing, and today I have something that I'm very excited to show you that uh, you may have actually already seen, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway just because I got super excited about it and I didn't think I was gonna be able to get a pair, but I won the raffle. Big shout out to the folks over at Undefeated. Uh, not that they know who I am, but I won the raffle at Undefeated and that's how I was able to secure a pair. And from what I understand, a lot of people actually won the raffle. So congrats to everyone that was able to secure a pair of these. Uh, but let's break this down. So this is the Nike Kobe 5. Pro Tro. It's the professional version of the retro of Kobe sneaker as a term that he made up. This is the Hall of Fame colorway created by Undefeated, as you can see right there. Uh, my box got a little damaged, unfortunately, in transit. So I have a little bit of a hole right there in my box, but that's all right. It is what it is. It happens sometimes. But more importantly, let's get to the kicks inside because they have a story to tell, which is what this channel is all about. The story that these sneakers tell. Now, most of you know, the 2021 Hall of Fame class was just inducted. It was Kobe, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, and a bunch of other folks. Uh, and Undefeated created this colorway for Kobe Bryant's shoe. And this is the one that we all are going to get. You know what? Uh, quick side note, I really like what Undefeated has done with Kobe. I feel like they're doing what Concept does with Kyrie. So it's like Kobe and Undefeated and then Concepts in Kyrie, which are like these really cool relationships that feel really organic and really speak to the product and to the player that they represent. Anyway, so you have some special paper that's on the inside and it has uh, some of Kobe's stats in there. And then we have the shoes. There you Go, obviously a little bit gaudy, but that's because they represent a very specific moment. Uh, if you want to do a lace swap, they come with purple laces if you want purple instead of the gold. But the paper here is what really helps tell the story here. So Kobe was in the league for 20 years. He played all of those years on the Lakers. And while on the Lakers, uh, nine time first team all defense, two time scoring leader, 81 points on January 22nd, 2006. Shout out to the Raptors. Uh, he was the league MVP. He was the five time league champion and he was a high school all American. And all of that story is kind of told here on the tissue paper, which I appreciate when they do the little bit extra by telling the story on the tissue paper as well because it wraps the sneakers and this kind of tells what you're taking out of the sneakers. This is what it's all about. And it's told here on the paper. So I'm gonna leave the paper here. Now the colorway is actually pretty simple. There's really not a lot to it. They go with the gold obviously for the championships and the crown and you know, you get gold when you win the championships. They have the purple here on the bottom and the purple hits throughout because he was a Laker for 20 years. Uh, he, he almost wasn't a Laker for those that know. Uh, Kobe was originally drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. And speaking of telling that story, Undefeated told a little bit of that story with the what if pack that had the white and turquoise pair which represented the charlotte hornets and then they had the other pair that had all of the different colors i believe the other one was called the what if and then the one was called the charlotte and that one had all of the patches from all of the teams that could have drafted kobe but didn't but passed up on kobe and i know they all regret that now but anyway so this obviously has the purple has the gold it has the scales for the black mamba so you see that it has like this deep thick mesh, which I kind of feel like represents like a golden fleece for Kobe. And then you have like the Kobe, the Mamba, the Mamba logo there on the tongue. You have the undefeated logo on the other tongue. And then on the back, you have the air and then you have the undefeated logo as, as well. And they're all in gold. Now the shoes are like mirror. I don't, do you call that a mirror image of each other? No, cause that would be a mirror image of it. So they're not, so they're, they're the reverse of each other. So like that. So you have the purple swoosh on the lateral side and then you have it on the medial side. And then you have the red and blue swoosh on the right shoe, it's on the medial side, but on the left shoe, it's on the lateral side. Now, the peculiar thing about the left shoe is on the Nike swoosh, it has this red and blue, but then it has 24, 10, and eight. And so there's a lot of speculation about what the 24, 10, and eight represents. Uh, I'm gonna go with what I think it is, and that is Kobe's 
Olympic jersey number. So you have 24, which was the number he used. Obviously, he has 10, which was his Olympic jersey number, and then eight, which is his Laker number that he used later on in his career. And the reason I think this represents his Olympic number is because it goes from red to blue, kind of like your Olympic jersey, and that's why they would use the 10. Some people think that the 10 represents that there's 10 years between the 28 and the 24. Or he used, sorry, he used the it was he used the you could you do he used the 24 for 10 years and then the eight for 10 years. But I think this is his, this represents his Olympic jersey number. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, these have a nice gradient to them that kind of goes down the midsole. So it goes from the gold to the purple, which is nice and adds a little bit of texture to the design. But overall, uh, I think it's a good, solid basketball shoe. I don't think these are going to be a pair I'm going to actually wear. This is something that I, I'm probably just going to kind of keep in the box or in the case and kind of show to people that want to see parts of my collection, just because this represents such a monumental piece of Kobe's career. I have a ton of other Kobe's that I just wear and that I play basketball in but for this one I just think I'm gonna kind of keep it as is because it kind of represents a bigger story for me when it comes to Kobe Bryant who's obviously one of my favorite players uh, but also plays for my favorite team played for my favorite team which is the Los Angeles Lakers 17-time uh, world champion Los Angeles Lakers uh, anyway so I just want to give you guys a quick look at these let me know what you think what's your favorite Kobe silhouette and what's your favorite Kobe colorway and what's the story behind that let me know down in the comments below I'm Jock Slate as always guys I appreciate you make sure you like favorite, subscribe, and even tell a friend if that's something that you're into, if you think they like unboxings and stuff like that. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Kobe! I don't know what the drum world was for, but Kobe!